pretty bad. All right, turning to 2016, Hillary Clinton saying earlier this week, saying she knows the economy is still favoring the wrong bracket. Take a listen to this. I think that most Americans uh, understand that uh, the deck is stacked for those at the top, and I am running a campaign that is very clearly stating we want to reshuffle that deck. Reshuffle that deck. Rachel Campos, uh, Campos Duffy is the national spokesman for the Libre Initiative and joins us now. And clearly, that's I have a new phone, Rachel. So I don't <laughs> know how to create or to control the sounds that it's making. No worries. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So, so I want to bring some attention to this comment specifically. We just heard her say, I think most Americans understand the deck is stacked, and I'm running the campaign to reshuffle the deck so that they can make more out of their lives. Bruce Becker, uh, out of our bureau in Washington, said that this is a striking metaphor. For it deserves a lot of attention because a stacked deck suggests that wealthy are cheating and that they've arranged the cards in their favor for a desired outcome. Now, this is a very strong statement for her, particularly Rachel, in her first comments to reporters in over a month. Well, this is right out of the Obama playbook, who always says that you know the American dream is is rigged um, to favor the rich, the wealthy. Of course, that means that we need more government, right. um, a bigger government, more entitlements um, to address that. So this is right out of the playbook, and I think it's interesting because the coalition she needs is women um, and she needs minorities. Mm -hmm. And if you look at what Obama's economic policies have done for those people, it hasn't been really good. Mm -hmm. um, home ownership among Hispanics is the lowest, uh, I think, since 1999. Poverty rates are up for minority, um, minority women in particular. Um, and we know that, they, that their policies have done nothing to address the income inequality gap, which is something they they ran on and said that their policies would do. So it's a failed policy. I think a bad move for her to come out and, and really tie herself to a failed Obama agenda. So y you would make the argument that she's not winning over the female vote right now? No, and in particular, um, I think the Democrats have really overestimated what um, her appeal is with young women. Um, first of all, she's not as likable as Obama. Um, she's certainly not going to get the pop culture nod mm -hmm. that Obama got. Um, and, I, and I think they, all the scandal surrounding her, uh, they think they can handle this scandal, but there's a past scandal that they think they've tucked away and finished with, mm -hmm. but is going to be brand new news to young women, and that's the Monica Lewinsky scandal, which will continue um, to be news for them, but also Monica has come out of the shadows, so it's going, she's going to have to address that and the way she handled that is not relatable to young women who have much higher expectations of their men of their partners and probably wouldn't make the same kind of compromises she made. and specifically you're in touch with this group of voters through your Libre initiative yes every day yes so absolutely you've got your hand on it we got our hand especially on obviously the Hispanic vote but I can just speak anecdotally I just as anyone under 50 um, any woman under 50 I think probably wouldn't make the kind of personal compromises mm -hmm. that she has made for her professional career. More importantly, I think what's going to come out um, as this erupts is, uh, and we get closer to the election, is the way she handled it, that she was part of um, blaming the victims who were, I think, um, you know, uh, abused, yeah. if you want to say, or, pr or, or preyed upon by her husband. Great perspective. Uh, if you don't know, uh, you're married to Congressman Sean I Duffy am? out of Wisconsin. <laughs> you have a beautiful family. You have seven children now, most recent addition, under a year old. Margarita, who you've met <laughs> several times on the set. Uh, and how's the congressman doing? <laughs> He's doing great. All right. Yeah, we, we're going to work to get him on the show as well, but it's great having you. You're going to join you. us on Outnumbered on our show on Fox News Channel at noon Eastern as well. Yep. All right, Rachel, thank you. Thank you. All right, let's